Hi, I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video, I thought I would share my five Rhapsody blouses and tell you a little bit about why it is my very favorite pattern. All right, I've been seeing Rhapsody blouses everywhere on Instagram, on YouTube. It feels as though even though this pattern has been out for a good number of years, and this is a Love Notions pattern, by the way, everybody is making Rhapsodies these days. And I've been hearing a lot about sewists who now want to try the Rhapsody. So I thought I would give all of you who are still on the fence a little inspiration to give this pattern a try. Now, I am not affiliated with Love, no Love Notions. I'm not getting paid for this, but I really and truly love this pattern. Now, why do I love it so much? Well, first of all, it's incredibly, the pattern itself is incredibly versatile. It's got nine different sleeves. It's got a dress view, if dresses are your thing. And there's so many details in this blouse that just make it, yeah, just very versatile. You can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can make it boho style, you can streamline it. They've got a bunch of hacks on their website to change up the neckline. It's super easy to make it a scoop neck by just closing the little V. The yoke in the back is sewn using the burrito method, so it's nice and clean on the inside. The side seams are sewn with French seams, so again, no raw edges anywhere. So it's um, it's got these little details that are amazing. Now, I love it because all of the shaping at the bust comes from either using the full bust piece and then some gathering at the yoke here that give the extra room you need for your bust. There's also shaping, slight shaping in the waist. So it cuts you in a little bit, but it doesn't hug you. It glides over your curves, which is so nice. And then the curved hem is another thing that I absolutely love about this pattern. So yeah nine sleeves, nice clean finish, a bunch of hacks available if you search for them, and just a nice, very nice silhouette. So what's not to love? All right, so let's have a look at the five I've made so far. Now I do have plans for more, definitely. I already have fabric picked out for a few more. The first one I made, I made a about a year and a half ago. I remember I made it for Mother's Day 2022. So I must have made it probably in April 2022. And this is it. And I'm, I'm going to pop some pictures so you can see me wearing these. So this is a Poplin Viscose I got from Rainbow Fabrics, if I remember correctly. It's got these gorgeous colors. I love the blue in this fabric. Now, I made the pattern straight out of the packet. So basically, it's got the ties at the neckline. And I made the quarter, the three-quarter sleeves with the cuff at the end. And I did shorten this version by about an inch and a half. But after making it, I thought it was still pretty long. So on my next versions, I removed even more length. Now... There's absolutely nothing I don't love about this version. I love the fabric. I love how it fits me. I like the sleeve length. It's perfect in the spring, in the early fall. Now, I don't really wear this one in the winter because I find it difficult to put a layer on top and it's a little bit lightweight to be worn when it's really cold. But yeah, the binding I made from the fabric itself. And I hem my Rhapsodies with bias binding as well. So whenever I make the bias binding for the neckline, I make extra, basically, to have extra length. And I use it at the hem. 
it's just for me it's just easier hemming a curved um surface or length with bias binding so i sew it to the right side of the garment right side together and then i flip it completely to the inside so that from the outside you can't see the binding at all it's all nice and neat on the inside so this is version number one version number two i made in july 2022 so about a year ago now in a rayon twill from core fabrics now i bought this fabric because i absolutely loved the colors and i think it works really really well as a rhapsody so here it is isn't this fabric gorgeous i love it love it now this version i made the short sleeves and I used the hack on the Love Notions website to basically put a little bridge here across the V. So there are no dangling ties on this one. This is shortened by another 1.5 inches. So basically this is three inches shorter than the pattern. And I absolutely love this length. I made a size XL just like my other one and um, use the full bust piece but this is an XL shoulders to hem I didn't grade and I didn't change anything now it's a little crumpled because I wore this earlier this week and I took it out of the wash to share it with you but yeah um, you can see a nice little pleat in the back at the yoke again it's the burrito method so it's nice and closed everything is nice and clean on the inside I absolutely love this top. I wear it all the time. And because I made the short sleeves, I wear it year round with a navy cardigan on top. I can wear this with jeans. I can wear this with dress pants. I've worn it to work. Probably one of my favorite tops of all time. My third version I made in October, 2022 and i used a different type of fabric so my first two were made with a lightweight very flowy uh, very drapey kind of fabric number three is in a cotton lawn this gorgeous purple cotton lawn also from core fabrics and it's obviously not as drapey as the other two fabrics so this is probably my least favorite out of my five, just because it stands away from the body a little bit more. Um, yeah, it doesn't flow as nice. For this one, I didn't close the V, I didn't bridge it, but I didn't, I cut off the ties at the V, so there are no dangly bits anywhere. And I made the long bishop sleeves finished with an elastic at the hem. I hemmed it same way with my bias binding at the bottom. Uh, everything else is pretty much the same. It is the same length as the other one, so shortened the pattern by three inches and made the size XL top to bottom. Now I do wear this one. Um, I wear it mostly in the fall, winter, um, on its own so when it's not super cold though because again because of the bishop sleeves i can't really wear a cardigan on top so i like it i love these colors and i absolutely love the fabric i'm just regretting a little bit using this cotton lawn for this blouse i much prefer the rhapsody in a very flowy um fabric i think it just enhances the whole boho type of vibe from the blouse so this is number three i made my fourth version of the rhapsody in january 2023 with the fabric i received in one of my think pink boxes now it's a viscose fabric very light and flowy and i liked it so much that i wanted to make a tnt with that fabric, so I decided to choose the Rhapsody. 
and here it is. Now, I decided to go with the bridge here and no ties again, and the bishop sleeves again, just because for me, this fabric is more of a winter, like fall, winter type fabric, so I wanted the long sleeves. Um, yeah, no other changes to this version besides doing the hack at the neck. It's a extra large from shoulders to hem. It's three inches shorter than the pattern. So I basically used my pattern as is on this gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. And I really like this blouse. It's not in my typical colors. It's definitely not a print I would have chosen for myself, but I really like the finished product. So, yeah. So this is Rhapsody number four. And my last Rhapsody is one that I shared not very long ago because I made it just last month with my Think Pink fabric again. For the same reason I made the previous one, I really loved that fabric and it needed to become a top I would enjoy wearing and I knew would fit and I would love. So here she is in all of her pink gloriness. I absolutely love this top. So I made the cap sleeves so they're a little bit shorter than the short sleeves. I left the ties on so this is exactly as the pattern says except that the the ties are a little bit narrower because you're supposed to cut your bias strips at one one and a quarter inch and then fold them into bias tape i cut mine at one inch and then folded them not on purpose <laughs> So putting the binding on was very fiddly, and I mean very fiddly. So next time I'll try and remember to cut it, as the pattern says, at one and a quarter. But I like the, I like that they're narrow. I used the, the bias binding again at the hem. Now, one thing I did change for this version. So Love Notions have been working through all of their older patterns, um, upgrading them or, or, yeah, upgrading them to their newest block. So their size range is now a little bit larger and they've changed their basic block a tiny bit. Now, there were some little niggles about all of my other Rhapsodies, like the shoulders didn't always fall properly. There was a little bit of tightness in the upper back. And before I went ahead and made a narrow shoulder adjustment or a broad back adjustment, I wanted to make sure that I had the latest pattern, which I didn't because I purchased this and bought this a few years ago. I hadn't downloaded their newest block. So I did that, printed it in an XL at the shoulders and bust, graded out to a 2X at the waist and hips, and this thing fits me perfectly. The shoulders are exactly where they need to be. There's plenty of room for me to move. And I love it even more. Like I love even more how it glides over my curves. And because of the shaping at the waist, it almost gives the illusion that I have a waist. I do not have a waist, but it gives the illusion that I have one. The length is not perfect because I don't know why, but I only removed two and a half inches from the length, whereas all of my other ones have three inches removed. So I'm going to take another half inch off the length on my pattern. But yeah, I've been wearing this a ton since making it. Actually, it's all wrinkled because this one too came out of the wash so I could share it with you all. So this is probably... Yeah, I like the other purple with the short sleeves a lot, but I'm thinking this might be my new favorite. The the colors, the the sleeves, like everything about this blouse just yeah. This is probably going to come with me to the UK as well. So, yes, Rhapsody number 5. 
Like I said at the beginning of the video, I've made five of them, but I am planning more. So I already have fabric chosen for a probably another bishop sleeved one because it'll be like a winter one that I want to wear on its own because the fabric I chose is absolutely stunning and I don't want to cover it with a cardigan. So I'm probably going to make the bishop sleeves. I have a few cuts of tensile twill um, that I think would make a beautiful Rhapsody in, again, the cap sleeve so I can layer it under a cardigan for the fall winter months. I want to try the sleeveless view because again, I can layer that and then wear it in the summer and the flutter sleeves. I also want to try. So basically the only view that I probably will not make ever is the dress view. Every other style I absolutely love. And yeah, there will just be many, many more of these. I'm sure. Another thing I want to try to do because I love this pattern so much is take the shaping at the waist and the hem, the curved hem, and try to see if I can adapt other top patterns to have the exact same shape. So for example, the top I'm wearing is the Seychelles top by Itch to Stitch. I absolutely love the sleeves on this top. I love the V-neck. What I don't love is that it's very square and has a very straight across hem, which, you know, I don't find is the nicest thing on my body. But if I can take my Rhapsody blouse pattern and the Seychelles pattern and kind of marry the two, I would have the perfect top. So I want to try and experiment with that now that I know how much I love that shape. Um, yeah, I need to try and see if I can replicate it across a bunch of other top patterns I own. So tell me in the comments below, first of all, have you ever made the Rhapsody? And if not, why not? <laughs> and second, do you have a unicorn pattern that you make over and over and over again? and that you also use features of and put them on other patterns. And if you are doing that, how are you doing it? I would love some tips and tricks. Please leave everything in the comments below. All right, so that'll do it for me today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please give the video a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.